he's he's not really high on Florian Marku. Here, let me mute it. Please take your time out, like the video, subscribe, and history controversy with fightv360.com. He promised to KO, and of course, fighters promise KOs all the time. Doesn't necessarily mean we're going to get them, but the 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 question that probably a lot of people are going to be talking about, and he's probably going to talk about in the post fight interview if he gives one. This is the opening fight for the um Joshua versus Usyk undercard. It's 1:56 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The card started at 1 p.m. I don't know why Campbell Hatton is not open in the card, but to me this was a very close fight. Even though I'm giving it to Marku, this wasn't in wrestling right for years. I mean, don't get me wrong, I am impressed with his jab, meaning the jab of Florian Marku, but, you know, when we're talking about matching him up against Conor Ben, 19-0, 12 KOs, who's fighting fringe contenders and fighters who fought former world champions, where Florian, um, Florian Marku is not even ranked in the top 15 by the sanctioning bodies, the WBC, WBA, WBO, and IBF. He's competing at 147 pounds, by the way, a very, very stacked division. The question is, can he be a world champion? And I just don't think so. Can he beat Conor Ben? From what I've seen, I just don't think so. The next fight should be a fight to get him in the rankings. But if he fights Conor Ben, you know, would it be like kind of a step back for Conor Ben? Let me turn it up. By the way, take your time out, like the video, subscribe, and history controversy with fightview360.com. After the main card, we're going to be doing a live stream and talking about all of this. By the way, look at that beautiful venue. Tottenham, right? What you call it? Not Tottenham, Tottenham. So, yeah, they're about to announce the particulars. Florian Marku, by the way, is 8 0 oh, 1, 6 KOs. Pro Dan, 19 and 0. And 1. <laughs> Steve Weisfeld, 97 93, Mark Who. And Howard Foster scored this contest 96 to 94 for your winner by split decision. He's still undefeated. And the new IBF International Welterweight Champion. That 99-91 was a little, you know. Wow. Well, there you have it. You said you never know, Darren. And I would like to stress, in boxing, you never know. You never know. I mean, the, the second scorecard I don't agree with, but uh, I've just tallied up mine. I was exactly the same uh, as the final scorecard. But contrasting differences on the scorecards there, and you see both both teams here believe they've won. For me, it was just the, 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 the nice, tidy boxing from Marco that nicked the majority of those rounds. It was a strong finish from Marco. Was a 96 94 type of fight for me because see marco was pretty much dominating leading with the jab but he wasn't really like dominating the rounds you kind of you dig you dig what i'm saying and from my understanding that belt that he has this is going to get him a ranking in the top 15 of the ibf now if you don't know current ibf wbc champion is um errol spence he's currently out with an injury and looks like he wants to come back in um Sometime later on this year, that's what he's been posting, but who knows? Uh, you have Terrence Crawford and Sean Porter fighting for the WBO November the 20th. Ooh, likely that's going to be on Sky Sports, regular Sky Sports, or they're probably going to do Sky Sports box office in the middle of the night for you guys. I don't know. Um, WBA, your Dennis Ugas, who defeated Manny Pacquiao. Your Dennis Ugas is right now in a WBA tournament. You know, he's got to fight Amantis Stanionis, um, Jamal James, WBA World. Has to fight um, Butayev. Here, let me pull up the rankings here on my beautiful website, fightview360.com. We're here live, real time, waiting to see if Marco is going to give a post fight interview. The zone is on a little bit of commercial break right now. Um, so, here are the champions. And the movers and shakers, we just talked about them. You know, the guys under the champions are guys like Virgil Ortiz, 
Manny Pacquiao. I think he's done. Mikey Garcia is returning at a catch weight to fight a um, Sandor Martin. I believe that's what's that next month. Jerron Boots Enos is supposed to be fighting. Damn, who's he fighting again? Oh, Tumaz Delorme. These are the guys in the division to look out for. And I'm wondering, look at my man Roy Bellew. And one of the most talented female analysts in the business, Kate Abdo. She really know her shit. Gabrielle Mastri, Mikel Fox, even David Evernessi. And I think that's the fight that Conor Ben should fight next. You know, I could do who are off. You know, Jose Zito Lopez. You know, I think him versus Florian Marco will be a great, great fight. I'm lobbying for Flo um, Jose Zito Lopez to get on the Canelo card or the uh, Crawford versus Porter card. Then you've got Kavalaskis. This is a, a deep, deep division. You know, so I'm not, you know, really sure, you know, Rashidi Ellis, where Florian Marco would fit in, you know, with these guys. But nonetheless, I do like what I'm seeing, and I'm seeing growth between the fights. So this is the first fight of his that I'm actually covering on YouTube, and I have a little bit of a system. Once I cover a fighter once, an A-side fighter, you know, I tend to continue to cover them until pretty much they retire. So I'm going to be covering Florian Marco videos, post-fight videos from here on out. Oh, post-fight interview. Boom. That you predicted you would, but was that a tougher fight than you were expecting? Uh, Maxim, congratulations to, to Maxim. She's a, a tough opponent, that's why she wasn't undefeated 19-0. I couldn't feel his power. He's strong, uh, lad. You said you would stand and fight, but you were forced onto the back foot. You didn't feel his power, but did you feel his strength in there tonight? She had a, she had a good power, but I was finding my rhythm. She, I didn't have problem at all. That's why I keep my distance. I couldn't uh, uh, hit him easily, and I keep I keep the if the knockout was coming, it was coming. You beat a seasoned European fighter in just your 10th fight tonight. What message do you think that sends out to the rest of the division in Europe? That sends a message that with only 10, 10 fights, I take a top opponent. Nobody took him and I beat him. I'm new in the boxing game. Everyone underestimate me. They say he's a kickboxer and look who I beat today. You look, you, you see this belt? This is nice. This is the beginning for everything. Look, people doesn't know, but I have sacrificed my life. My wife is pregnant, I'm waiting my first baby, and I'm happy. I will make their life better with winning those titles and making some good money. Wish you all the very best Thank with everything you. outside the ring, and congratulations on the victory tonight, Thank Florian. You very much, bro. God bless. Kate, back to you. No call out. You know, no, no, no question of, you know, who do you want next? Well, with that being said, I'm T-Street Controversy with FightView360.com. Uh, take your time out, like the video, subscribe. Also, do me a solid. Down below in the description box, I put some links to um, Apple, the Apple Store, Google Play, Roku TV. Please download the WBC app powered by the Vive Network. Very exclusive content coming soon. You'll be able to watch fights, um, my content, other content. Oh, and also, ah, I hate doing this. You know, I don't like talking about death too much, but um, rest in peace to uh, Pep Talk UK. I got some bad news yesterday. You guys probably have heard, you know, just horrible to hear. You know, prayers to him and his family in the afterlife. Just, just, ah. Uh. It's history controversy with Fight View 360.